What's up, boys and girls? Your boy, the Dread Man, is back. And if you haven't been laying under a rock for the past three days, or if you've been off social media, you have probably heard of the Offset Cardi B divorce situation. And I want to give my two cents on it. Now, I have watched a dozen or so people on social media and all social media platforms talk about this, but I want to give my little two cents on it. My two cents is, after Offset, is Cardi B going to settle down and find her a nerdy cornball type of dude? Or is she going to continue to cycle and keep dating no good, unfaithful hood niggas? Is she going to take the Sierra route and find her a, um, a Russell Wilson? Or is she going to keep dating future type of guys? Because, to be honest, uh, Offset and Future really ain't no different. I mean, come on. Offset, as far as we know, has... Four children by three different baby mamas. Four children by three different baby mamas, and he's not even 30 yet? Uh, yeah. And I know that I'm going to get, you know, I'm, I know there's some, some women who are going to watch this video and be like, but, 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 Dread Man, uh, why, uh, Cardi B's the victim in this. Offset is the one that cheated. Yes, this is true. But that's the thing, is that you have to choose better. Why would you not leave Offset alone the first time he cheated? Did you want, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, well, here, here it is again, but, but, but maybe she stayed because she saw the good in him and wanted to give him another chance. Maybe because he begged and pleaded to, to for, he begged and pleaded to come back to her crawling on his knees. Um, that second part might be true, but here's the thing. How many times do you got to get burned by the stove to know that it's hot? How many times do you got to get cheated on by a cheater to know that he's unfaithful? It really does not make any sense. And I keep seeing this online. Cardi B can find another Offset, but Offset can't find another Cardi B. One, no matter how true that is, I mean, like, it, it really does not, do, it, it really is no, that's no excuse for choosing an unfaithful type of man. Two, that's BS. Because Offset, when you're a man of high value or when you're a celebrity or a big time rapper like Offset is, there's a, you can find a Cardi B in any kind of hood. You can go to any strip club, party, or any like major city in America, and you can find you a quote unquote Cardi B. I mean, come on, how many loud, ratchet, light skinned chicks or tattoos are running around here? More than you can count. And the third thing is people say, for people who say the offset can find another Cardi or Cardi B can find another offset, that's a damn shame because if you're Cardi B, why would you want another offset knowing damn well the type of man that, that offset is? And if, if the same thing for Offset. If you cheat on her, why would you want another Cardi B? Why would either of them want another one of the same, you know, prototype? Or they want the, why would you want the same mold of the same person? The object of dating or getting out of a bad relationship is to do better. And while, like I said, the fact that she won't will want the fact she even want or go for another Offset is beyond me. But the thing is, you would want to do better. And besides, the thing is, y'all know what I'm gonna say is gonna touch a few of y'all's nerves. But notice that an offset type of nigga is the best that she can do. She can only do like just as good as him or worse. Because notice, you know, rappers or people who are high value like Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Kanye West, Dr. Dre, guys like that, they won't even touch Cardi. You know, and the thing is, they might be a jump off or a one night stand to a girl like Cardi, but they will not wife her up or take her serious. So the thing is, like I said, there's a, there might be a silver lining. She might be able to find her... Russell Wilson. She might be able to find her nerdy cornball lame dude. She might be able to find a dude who's a tech expert who's an entrepreneur. Now, Chameleon Air, he's one of my favorite rappers. Shout out to him. A lot of people, uh, like, he was seen at a, a basketball game a couple of years ago. And people tried to clown him on Twitter saying, Chameleon Air is not no top tier rapper anymore. How can he afford tickets to the All Star game? Or how can he afford tickets to a uh, front row tickets to a uh, finals game? Because he leveled up. He got out of the rap game and start, and he took what he knew that he learned from business and he decided to go into the tech industry. The tech industry makes a lot more than rappers. I mean, the thing is, especially with his business mindset, Offset, his net worth is around 25 to 30 million dollars. And Cardi B, her net worth is around 25 to 30 million dollars. And Offset, the thing is, I think at this point, Cardi B might make more than Offset. And now, 
the thing is also what I'm about to tell y'all it has to do with marriage and I might make an entirely separate video on marriage because I saw a post on Facebook that says that men in 2020 benefit more in marriage benefit more by a monogamous relationship or marriage than women do really what do men gain possibly from marriage that they can get in a if they're just single or if they're just dating around especially a high profile man a a high value top tier man with money or who's financially well off what does he possibly have to gain he has more to lose than he does to gain and if this is the case then why are so many women in America wanting to get married and also why is 70% of women file I mean out of out of every 10 marriages seven women are the ones that file for divorce why is that? And Cardi just perpetuated that stereotype. Now, Cardi is going to come out the winner in this because, I mean, the thing is, I might—I don't know if she really is or not because she, like I said, at this point, she might make more money than Offset. And if that's the case, I don't think she's going to get any child support from him. But the thing is, she's going to end up the winner in this situation because, you know, she's going to get full custody of her daughter. She probably will end up getting some type of, you know, monetary gain. She can get some type of child support and she's going to get some more social media exposure. So Offset, I mean, the thing is, the Migos Prime was probably from 2013 to like maybe last year. The Migos are kind of starting to drop off the map. I mean, all you know, with Quavo, he's pretty much the biggest, you know, su you know, solo success right now. Takeoff, who's my favorite member of the Migos, is in some legal trouble, which I won't explain. And Offset, you know, he's relevant right now. Probably because of Cardi B, or that's what he's most known for. Because he his solo career is all right, but I don't think his solo career is going to be as good as Takeoff for uh, Quavo's. But uh, yeah, it's just a damn shame how this happened. But I mean, like I said, the bright side is I mean, Cardi B might find her another. She like I said, she's going to find another guy, but I don't think she's going to find another guy who would be better for her than than Offset. You know, because I, mean, I think she, she might end up, you know, with the, she might end up with a perpetual saga of dating a whole bunch of dudes who are trash or who are no good to her. Or, like I said, she's finally going to settle down and find that corny, no, dorky, you know, kind of guy who's stable for her. And also, P.S., everybody's familiar with the whole entanglement situation with uh, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. A lot of people want to argue that, well, why are people pissed off at uh, Offset for cheating on... Um, on Cardi, but they're not pissed off at Jada for cheating on Will. That's a uh, sort of in the same ballpark, sort of in the same neighborhood. I don't know, but but but, but Dreadman, it was a cons you know, uh, it's an open marriage or an open relationship between Will and Jada. Offset and Cardi had an exclusive marriage. Now, even though that is, even though that that does have some kind of weight, or you know, it, it holds some weight, it does hold some merit. But still, even in a even in a um, an open relationship. There's got to be a limit or a line somewhere. You can't just you can't praise one and justify the other one. And really, neither one of them are really in a good situation. But if, I mean, if you're a millennial, I mean, in in, in this day and age, monogamous relationships and marriages kind of are pff, on the down track any damn way. But hey, good luck to both of them. That's pretty much all I wanted to get off my chest for today. You guys, let me know what you think. Do you really think that Cardi is gonna level up or do better than Offset, or she's gonna find some kind of nerdy cornball dude? Alright, anyway, I'm out, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. Peace out.